I can be honest with you that the first assets mm. or bottles I made, mm. I couldn't actually buy them. <laughs> <laughs> now you <laughs> can buy them. <laughs> right now, I can buy it at even uh, a more expensive uh, price. Mm. But those days, it mm. was really hard. Because I felt like something was missing. Mm. But since oh, yeah. I was learning mm. and teaching myself at the same time, mm. I did not know what was missing. Mm. Yes. So. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. That's Aniti Maya. My name is Anait. I am here at this Uganda School Christian University School mm. of Medicine. And he is one of my students who is here. He is going to introduce himself. Of course, I can't talk on behalf of him if he's here. So thank you so much for watching my videos all the time. And today I'm talking about something very interesting. <coughs> You know, abroad or oh, where I, where I did my, my my university education, I used to, to study while doing part time job. So uh, so many students asked me, how did you balance you know those things? And I made a video about that. So I wondered about you know uh, students in Uganda, are there students you know who study while working? How do they balance it? You know, what are some of the challenges they they face and how do they overcome them? Today, I am bringing to you our one and only. Say over Dennis. Yeah. Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming, Dennis. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. And uh, to the listeners or and the viewers out there, we welcome you so much to this episode. We hope that whatever we share will be beneficial to you. As I talk about myself, together with my lecture, she's actually my lecture, she's not <laughs> lying. So I'm seated here with utmost respect. Thank you so much. Uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, the first question I wanted to ask you is, mm. why did you decide to come to UCU? There are so many universities in Uganda, right? Yeah, that's mm. true. I came to UCU mm. because I have always had this dream of helping people, saving mm. people's lives. Mm. I come from a place which was a war zone for quite some years. I come from Lawera, I don't know whether you've heard of it. Oh, Lawera, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, and, yeah, that, and that is where uh, President Museveni camped when he was trying to overthrow the mm, so incumbent government. Died, I yes, that, mm. I, that was in mm. 1985, 1984, up mm. until 1986 when mm. he toppled the government. Mm, yes, yeah. yeah, so a lot of people lost their lives. Mm. And as a result, uh, it became underpopulated. And you know, uh, here in Africa, mm. population and uh, development are directly proportional. You realize that mm. if the place is underpopulated, there's mm. not going to be good development. Mm. So Luwera has been left backward, even when it is close to Kampala, mm. just a few miles away from the city. But mm. then you realize that the health services are still that bad. Mm. So I wanted to be part of the people who would actually help people from my district mm. to get the services that they desire to have. Oh. Yes. That's so great. <laughs> yes. So I that love that. Yeah. Oh. So uh, in Africa, population and development are directly proportional. Yes. Right? But uh, if you think about it, it might be indirectly in in proportional, mm. uh, you know, in some ways, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think depending on the resources that are available. Yeah. And then the other point I can I can comment on is that uh, the other reason uh, why they are still underpopulated is that I think people are scared of that area. Yes, people are scared have of that the trauma. Area. Yes, people have that trauma, but also people were displaced. So most of oh, people yeah. who are coming in are actually like squatters. Mm. So a squatter cannot actually settle down to develop themselves and maybe have those large farms because they know any time they could be displaced. Mm. And also people people's uh, wealth was taken. People had cows, oh, people yeah. have land. So mm. as a result, mm. a few of us have actually got a chance to make it up to university. When you mm. go back to my home area, you realize that mo many of the mm. students there mm. actually end up stopping in around ordinary level and that mm. is it because that's what our parents can afford. Oh, yes. Wow, that's, that's sad. 
Not yeah. a bit sad, but it's, it's very sad. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. But I really hope that, you know, um, you can, you know, uh, create some change there. Yeah. And as long as you're still alive, we are all here for you. Of course, you good know? reading. <laughs> you know, we, you cannot do it by your own. Yes. You know, I'm sure we can, you know, just come together and do something. That's and true. we're going to do it. Yeah, That's why, know. you know, <laughs> I'll do my best, train it to become... <laughs> The best. Very good. The best, you know. Yes. I'll transfer as much knowledge and skills I've gained exactly. to you and, you know, just use them in any way you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I'll also go to, is it called Sukuba? Oh, Sukuba <laughs> University. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I have so many cool professors there. They'll yes. be so, so happy <laughs> to have you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wow. So you are in your fourth, uh, fourth year, right? Yes, please. And, um... <coughs> Tell us more about what you do, you know, besides your academics. Tell us more about uh, your work. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, this year, like I keep telling my friends, you have to keep the main thing the main thing. Mm. I'm a medical student and I'm in my fourth year. Mm. Yes, but I do other things alongside my education. Mm. And one of them is... Uh, that I'm a mentor. There's some organization called the Boys Mentorship Program. Mm, the Boys Mentorship yes, Program. Yes, mm. and I work with it. I'm a mentor there. Mm. Yes, uh, but this is not something that I do every day. It is mm. just an on and off thing. I might mm. be invited to mentor or something like that. Mm. Yeah, but then there's something that I do more often, and that is art, fine art. Oh, something okay. that I love so before doing. We go, before we delve into that, mm. What is the mentorship about in oh, the organization? Oh, the mentorship is basically to break the misguided uh, traits of uh, manhood. You know, there is there is this thing, the stereotyping that is mm. developing, mm. especially among the boys probably transforming into men, mm -hmm. that uh, when you're a man, mm. yes, you're the head of the family, but then there are some things that you're not supposed to do for example you're not supposed to help your your wife maybe if, <laughs> if, if <laughs> maybe she's uh unable maybe she's sick bedridden mm. or pregnant or something mm. Th there are those misguided yeah. traits mm. that are, are coming up in society mm. and we are here for the boys such that mm. Mm. we know we, we can be sure that the next generation will be perfect oh my goodness give me five. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my i love that yeah i love that you know yeah. Boys should understand that, you know, uh, women are not, you know, um, defined, you know, or mm. attached to those, you know, yes. or activities. Oh, women must do this. Women must do this. No. If I'm sick, if I'm tired, do it. Do the dishes. Do yeah. it. <laughs> Take a rubbish. Do it. It's okay. Do it. It won't change to be anything else, you know, if yes. you do it. You know? yeah, and it so won't like, make you a woman. You'll still exactly. wear the, the head of the family. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I love that mentorship. Yes. Yeah. When, so I, yeah, when I get uh, children boy. who are boys, <laughs> I'll, ha I'll definitely send them there. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that is the boys' mentorship program. Okay. Then uh, I also do fine art. Mm. That is uh, bottle designs. Mm. I do bottle designs and mm. also something called lampshades i'm sure mm. you you show them yeah i've seen yeah, i've seen <laughs> them they are so beautiful oh my goodness they look so attractive with butterflies you know they look so beautiful and they are so colorful yes. That is something that I do, mm. and I love doing it. It is not that I'm being coerced or pushed to the world to do it. Mm. You can even leave this interview, and I go and I do one, and I. <laughs> 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 yes. How do you select the uh, the um, the colors? Uh, the colors usually it is. It depends on the client. Mm. The client will come and they'll say, I want a theme which is green and, and red. Mm. Yeah, usually there are some clients who don't have the test <laughs> <laughs> or color, we have to be honest. So I try to mm. guide them. Mm. But then there are those who actually don't have the test. Mm. 
but there is something particular that they want. Probably mm. it is matching their homes or something like that. Mm, yes, yeah. mm. I will definitely do it. And when I do it, I try to give it my best shot because you never know where it will lead me. You mm. never know who will see it. Mm. I never know which referral I will get. Wow. Yes. You know why you are in Kampala. <laughs> you know the reason why you are in Kampala. Huh? <laughs> wow. Yes. So um, the question I would have asked you earlier mm. is, why did you, you know, uh, go to do fine art in your free time? Yeah. There, there, there were other things, you know, where you just, you know, uh, um, attracted to it or you got there, you know. What is the desire to do it through someone? How did you get that? Uh, well, I can say that I've, I've done quite a lot of things. So I've done some good exploration. Mm. But then for fine art, I believe it is a talent. Mm. I, I went to yeah. I went to Ndeji Senior Secondary School. I don't mm. know whether you've heard of it. Yeah, and that I is where I, yes, mm. and that is where I did my my high school. Mm. And uh, yes, my high school, O level and A level. Mm. And I did fine art for my ordinary level. I excelled, I got a distinction. Oh. Uh, I think you should tell those people wow. what a distinction means. <laughs> <laughs> a distinction is the highest grade <laughs> yes. you can get, you know, in the Uganda national exams. Yes, so I got mm. a distinction, but then I had to cross over to the sciences bit because remember I had to pursue this medical career. Mm. Yes, I had to cross over to sciences and in oh. Uganda you can't mix science currently you can't mix sciences and arts. Yeah, yeah, so I had to leave mm. out the uh, fine art. Mm. But it was still there. I felt it. I mm -hmm. just waited for it to be rekindled, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. something that you love and you feel like mm -hmm. one yeah. day mm -hmm. you will meet. Yes, yeah. yeah. so uh, when lockdown started, I mean, w when it was imposed here in Uganda, it was imposed in March, mm -hmm. in March 2020. About two years ago, for two yes. years. Well, that's yes. a very long time. So mm -hmm. I was at home. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, you know, w at that time we actually did some of the things we are taking long without doing like yeah. cleaning up what because yeah. you're you're ever around so mm. i mean we had to do everything mm. so there was this time that i was cleaning mm. one of the old rooms at home then w i found bottles so these bottles no one wants to throw them away mm. but no one wants to <laughs> so they are there in the <laughs> middle <them> <laughs> i know yes uh -huh. they are mediocre in other words, eh? don't, don't throw them away yeah. Th don't put them there, put <laughs> them here, but leave them in the room, mm, yes. I so know that, <laughs> so well, I'm from a yeah. village, so I know that. Yes, so <laughs> wine bottles are really tricky, I don't know which magic they use, yeah, mm. so they were at home, so mm. I decided that I need to get a way mm. of uh, doing it with them mm. without throwing them away, mm. because there's no dustbin that you're going to go to and you say I've thrown these wine bottles. Mm. Yes, I needed to just add value to them, mm. and that is how I got the idea of starting Bottle Deco Uganda, which oh. is uh, <laughs> also the shirt that I'm wearing. Mm. Yes. That is how I got the idea. Of course, the fact that I didn't have anyone to train me mm. made it very hard. Mm. So I had to learn from my mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, someone will, will say, you cannot, cannot tell me that you just got that and you didn't see it anywhere. Mm. I had seen it somewhere. Mm. But what I was doing was not exactly what they were doing. So I was trying to do something new. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that is how I started the designing and I started with the small threads, I don't know whether our people know them, but there are these the threads, threads that eh? I used for hair, mm -hmm. those small ones. Mm -hmm. They're the ones I started with and I realized they were not bringing out what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I had to advance 
and to explore to get to know which kind of material mm -hmm. I need and mm. yes that's how we are here now Ooh, I'm <laughs> so proud of you you're so creative <laughs> yes. so so creative yeah well when people say that well uh, how did he learn to do that it's okay <coughs> learning is you know is more like academic writing yes it's imitating Copying and imitating, yeah. but we know we copy in a way that people can't spot us. That is original. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, no. Yeah. You know, they see us. She's so original, but like, hey, yes. I've seen so many of these things somewhere. I just know how to combine them. Yes. I just know how to, you know, uh, to bring this piece, bring this piece, and just bring the best mm. out of them. You know what? I want to congratulate you on getting a distinction. Fine art is <laughs> not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. You know easy why? Thing. Because so many students, you know, tend to take fine art as a su as a sub thing, right? They think that it's easy. No studying, no revising. You know what? So, they ju the judge or no the examiners, you know, tend to escalate. You know, the scores, right? Yes. Because it, there's no revision in that. So getting a distinction is. <laughs> Amazing, it's great. Yeah, it needs yeah. a lot of hard work, exactly. especially the fact that it is a practical subject. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. that's really great. Okay. So it's not that maybe, you know, whatever you do, you saw it somewhere or something like that. Mm. There, there are other people who have seen it, but have they come up with the idea? No. Yes. So your, your brain is, is great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations <coughs> on that. Thank you. So I wanted to ask you, so how do you balance, you know, your academics and then your work, you know? as a mentor and mm. then you work in fine art. Mm. Mm. Well, uh, for someone who is viewing us right now, at least what I would want to tell them first is that uh, you need to have passion in whatever you decide to indulge in mm. when, you mm. are, when you are, for example, multitasking. Eh? Mm. You need to have that passion. Mm. Yes, and uh, I think that is what has kept me moving because there are some times where it gets tough. Mm. Medical mm. school is tough. Uh, yeah. mm. The mentors, uh, they need you to mm. mentor. Mm. Then also you have orders for the bottle designs. Mm. So mm. the passion is the first thing. Mm. But also you have to plan your time very well. Mm. For example, mm. here in medical school, mm. I make sure that I attend 90, <laughs> close to 90%. <laughs> <laughs> Say it in front of the lecturer. Say it. <laughs> That I make sure that I attend many, many of them. At, at least attend, at least be there. Mm -hmm. That is the first thing. Yes, oh, yeah. at least mm -hmm. be there. Mm -hmm. The presence is very important. Mm -hmm. Then the rest of the things can come in handy. Yes, mm -hmm. the, 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 the timing. How can we uh, try to save time? Mm -hmm. Discussions. Mm -hmm. I make sure I don't miss my discussions. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I might miss something else. I might fail to revise because I'm very tired and I take a nap, mm. but not a discussion. Mm. I don't miss <laughs> discussions. Yes. Wow, they must yes, be because important Yes, here. because discussions actually, they help you tap into someone's mindset. Yes. And mm. you can actually understand something better. Mm. Yes. yes. So yeah. that's Even exchanging ideas, you exactly. know. You might be knowing one reason and then somebody else mentions another reason. Mm. So you leave a discussion with the four reasons. You understand? You're like, oh. I didn't know about this. Oh, this is also a reason. Wow, this is also a good point. Wow. Yes. So, you know, you even become better at discussing your, your things, even public speaking, you exactly. know. Exactly. So, it's a good thing, yeah. I, I love <laughs> discussions. I love it. And I used to discuss for my, for my you know, classmates whenever I got time at high school. Yes. So, like I told you, for the mentorship, it's not something that I do every day, mm. but it's something that I do mm. uh, when I'm invited at mm. particular times. Mm. So, of course, they will give you a... a a heads up, they'll they tell you, you will be required to be here mm. in, a, a f in a fortnight's time. Mm. So it gives you time to prepare. Mm. So if I know that I'm going to be away for, for a day mm. doing some mentorship, mm. I'll be working hard in this fo before this, uh, th this day reaches such mm. that I make sure I don't miss anything on that day that, mm. I, that I am away. Yes. So I'll spend those sleepless nights or anything that mm. I need to do such mm. that I can try to be there when I'm not missing. Yeah, I try to use, the, of course, the videos. I, I, I'm more of a visual learner, mm. so I use the videos and mm. I, mm. I use many of them. Yeah, yes, that's and really they, good, yeah. They help me. But then for the business side, mm. uh, organization mm. is a very important thing, and then honesty mm. to my clients. Mm. If I receive an order, even if I'm at school, I don't want to promise you that it will be ready in the evening, yet I know that I will leave school in the evening. Mm. Yes, mm. that is giving. People yeah. uh, empty promises. Mm. I rather tell you, you know what? I'm fixed. I have a test tomorrow, mm. but 
give me three days. Mm -hmm. I'll be done with your order. Mm -hmm. Or as soon as I get done with your order, mm -hmm. I will I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So basically, oh, that really is what good. keeps me moving. Yeah, gonna be a very good <laughs> business uh, uh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. That's really good. You know. Mm -hmm. People want to trust people, yeah. reliability. Exactly. If somebody says this, they mean that and they do that. Yes. So that's really good. What are some of the challenges you've faced while doing, you know, both <coughs> your academics and then um, this business? Uh, well, like I told you, mm. I have, I've had to learn the hard way. Mm. I've had to go through most of the challenges for mm. me to know that I can actually do it with this challenge. Mm. So the first challenge I had was mm. uh, the material. I didn't know where to get a material. Because mm. this is something that is quite novel. Not, not so many mm. people have done it and mm. not so many people are doing it the way mm. I'm doing it. Mm. So it means that uh, I had to look for the things mm. from I don't know where. Mm. But uh, I managed to get there. Mm. So now I know where to get my material. I can mm. just go to town and it, it won't take me a lot of time if mm. I get what I want. Oh. Yes, so that was a challenge. Mm. Uh, I got solved. Yes. Slowly by slowly or you got somebody who helped you? Uh, well, of course, uh, you, you consult mm. from friends who mm. eventually refer you to the right people. Mm. Yes, so eventually you know mm. where to get what. Mm. Yes, so I solved that. That's a good point. Then, uh, mm. yeah, it's a good point. Yes. You are there <laughs> struggling, talk to people. Yes. Talk to people. There will be somebody who will help you and actually be surprised. The person you talk to, you might think that, oh, I think they don't know what I want. But yeah. they might know what you want. So talk to people and see. Well, people who, who you trust. People who wish you well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, then the next, the other thing mm. was the quality. Mm. The quality that I deliver. Mm. Yes. I can be honest with you that the first assets mm. or bottles I made, mm. I couldn't actually buy them. <laughs> <laughs> now you Personally. can buy them. <laughs> right now, I can buy it at even a, a more expensive uh, price. Mm. But those days, it mm. was really hard. Because I felt like something was missing. Mm. But since oh, yeah. I was learning mm. and teaching myself at the same time, mm. I did not know what was missing. Mm. Yes, So <laughs> I had to go through... A series of trials and errors mm. until I got to where I wanted to be. Mm. Yes, so I, I also want to say that at least for quality, mm. I know that I'm somewhere. Mm. So that's also another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Then the other thing mm. uh, is market. Mm. Yes, market was a challenge. But I actually, I'm grateful mm. for my friends. Mm. Uh, I, I thank my friends so, so much. Mm. They helped me a lot. They really encouraged me. Mm. Yes, because I can tell you that the first bottles that I sold mm. were to my friends, my mm. classmates. Mm, your classmates. Yes, so mm. it really kept, uh, uh, keeps me moving. If I see that someone next to me actually wants to get something from me mm. and they're actually mm. paying me for it mm. and they're not of undermining it, they're yeah, actually yeah. buying it at a price it deserves to be at. So, mm. yes, my friends help me a lot, and mm. I thank you guys so much. I know most of them will view this. Mm. I thank you for pushing this to Support where it is and right love now. Yes, and kindness. Oh, yes. Wow. Uh, but then, my friends are the people who showed me to the to the other world. Mm. Those who didn't know me mm. got mm. to know me through my mm. friends. Mm. Yes. So the referrals kept coming in. Mm. Yeah, but then I also felt like something was lacking. Mm. The market was not yet there. Mm. Yeah, because much as my friends were supporting, mm. it's not that they were supporting every day. Mm. Yeah, and they're also students. And exactly. as students, sometimes the finances are not good, actually, mm. most of the times. Mm. Yes. That's true. Mm. So I had to revamp my social media handles. Mm. Yes. <laughs> 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 well, I was not on social media until 2020 when I opened a YouTube channel and I knew that, oh, Anne, you need, you need an audience. Without yes. an audience? <laughs> You're not communicating. You're not communicating. Yes. So I had mm. to revamp my social media and you know social media, maybe also to tell you that I've done a certificate in digital marketing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so You've I did invested it. invested in yourself a lot. I love uh, that. Yeah, I did it uh, in 20... I started in 2018 and mm. I finished early 2019. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I didn't get to use it so much mm. because along the way I got so busy with medicine mm. and I didn't know that I would actually need this skill later on. Mm. Yes, so I had to revamp my social media mm. because now I needed to get my clients through my Facebook account, yeah, my Instagram. Mm. 
yeah, and maybe the WhatsApp, which everyone can use, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. Yes, so mm -hmm. that means that I had to also raise the bar for the quality of the photos that I take. Exactly. Mm. The way I communicate. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Is it, uh, am professional, I writing? Yes, is it professional? Yeah. Is it poetic? Mm -hmm. Whatever. People <laughs> like unique things, by the way. You mm. might think that uh, you, you're being too extra. Mm. People like unique things. Yeah. Yes, we can put here one set and then another set here. Mm. Then for you, say, bottle dick on sale. Mm. Then I bring my poetry. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. you, uh, I've already made five sales, and you're here still looking for what to buy. Yes, so I, mm. I had to revamp mm. that. And actually, if you go to my Instagram page or my Facebook page, mm. realize that at the beginning of 2020, mm. there was a change in the way I was posting. Mm, mm, mm. There was a change. You can see because I didn't delete the old things mm. to show people where I've come from, to mm. show people that. I didn't just get here mm. all of a sudden. Mm. You know, usually when we are on our social media pages, when we uh, w when we raise the quality, mm. we tend to delete the other old things. I don't. Mm. Then we start with the good ones. Then mm. everyone will be scrolling and be like, oh, wow, this guy is great. Mm -hmm. I decided to leave the old ones such mm. that people can know that I've been progressing. Actually, mm -hmm. someone told me, I've gone through your Instagram and I've seen that you have really struggled to be where you are. That's great. You know, yes. I also <laughs> don't delete. You know, yeah. I keep on up, you know, updating my, my followers. How many subscribers do we have every each time, you know, and even the date. So they know. Last time we had 400. This time we have 500. This time we have 600, yes. you know. And, you know, they feel that, oh, wow, they're contributing progress. to this, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's a good thing. Mm. Yeah, the Instagram, there I had to be serious on it. And yeah, uh, I w I w we shall have to know your Instagram. Oh, uh, you can find my work on Boto Diko Uganda that is on Instagram just mm. type Boto Diko Uganda you mm. see first there. yes it is currently the first page that shows up because I've done more of the engagement mm. than before then mm. also Facebook mm. Boto Diko Uganda mm. yes wow expect my following please. <laughs> <laughs> exactly I can't wait to tap into those professors from school ah! <laughs> well my professors are really really kind they are so so kind and one day I think I will be opening up something, I won't say it, but I'll be opening up something and I'll invite them and then you'll see them. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's interesting. Yeah, they are really <laughs> nice, nice, nice people and I love them so yeah. much. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, so uh, now I want to um, just ask you, how many years are remaining with it? Two? Uh, well, it, you could say one and a half. One and a half years are remaining. Yes. So after this, uh, what's your next step? What's your plan? Well, I decided that I'm going to go hard on, on uh, my bottle designs mm. slash bottle deco Uganda because, like I told you, I've done very many things, mm. but I think I'm finally home. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do something and you feel like I'm doing this for the money, mm -hmm. but then there's something that you do mm. and you say, even if you don't give me the money, mm. I'm still fine. Yes, yeah, so I think even after I graduate and I become a medical doctor, mm. I, I will still save some time mm. and I do it because it is a passion. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that actually these things don't, they're not, uh, they, they, they're not the same. Mm. They keep changing. Mm. The set I do today is not what I do tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, so it is something that I could actually use to encourage my, pa my patients in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of uh, you being so adherent to your dosage, mm. why not give you a bottle <laughs> deco set and you go home and you smile at your place? <laughs> I know, yes. I see that, yeah. Yes, so I'm hoping mm. to find a way of doing it alongside my career. Ah, wow. Yes. I'll be so happy to be visiting you frequently, you know. <laughs> exactly. Just check, you know, uh, all the new designs you do have and yes. what I should, you know, buy or give out as gifts because, I mean, they are just good, you know, for, uh, for me and they are good for uh, to, be, to be given as, you know, even presents. Yes. They're looking so beautiful. I loved them. I fell in love with them the first time I saw them, and I was like, "Hey, <laughs> I need you. I need it was you." I lo need love at first sight. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I need you. I need your work. I need your brain. It's amazing. I like it. Yeah. Wow. So I wanted to ask you. Mm. So in the future, you know, um, you don't know where you know our life, our life takes us. But if I become maybe the minister of health, you know, here in Uganda, 
and I assign you to be, you know, the minister for that uh, province, mm. Luero. Mm. How will that be? How does that sound? Well, it's not a bad idea. After all, my main aim of coming to medical school was to serve the people in Luero. <laughs> the fact that you're giving <laughs> me uh, a leadership position mm. in, in, that, in, my, in that particular area mm. means I'm going to actually move very many things because of the power that I have. I'm so <laughs> happy that you think that I can become a minister. No, I mean, why, why wouldn't you become a minister? <laughs> no, why wouldn't you become a minister? Ministers are not, are not labeled. Oh <laughs> it's, it's not like a minister will have a label like this one. Watch out, they'll become a minister. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yes. you so much, you know, um, but before I say bye-bye to you, mm. I want um, you to tell people, you know, uh, uh, what they do for you. Mm. Obviously, please let us follow him. He deserves, you know, a following because I really love his work. Please follow him and let, let him tell us what else you can do for him to expand his business or support him in any way yeah well i know this is actually a great audience mm. the fact that i'm here there are very many people who come to view these sessions mm. and mm. these interviews mm. yeah so i do not know the different abilities or the different people viewing mm. but i would request anyone out there who can who feels like they can support me in any way mm. it could be in promoting my work mm. could mm. be in making commercials mm. sponsoring them to go on air maybe on television and mm. what mm. it could be buying from me mm. it could be a follow on my instagram page mm. that is botodiko uganda facebook mm. botodiko uganda mm. it could be uh, advice. Yes, how advice. Mm. How to improve? What mm. should I do better? Mm. I'll be grateful for that. Mm. Yeah, and I know this is a great audience because I've been following it for some time. <laughs> 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 yes. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Thank you so much, lovely people. You know, I am so proud of you, and I'm so proud of us. You know, we've gotten all these people, 600 people, and this is really amazing. I can't wait to show you all the great people, you know, all the great students, you know, here at Ugan in Ugandan universities who are doing their, you know, their courses, you know, uh, while doing, you know, part-time work, how they balance those things. And if you are a Ugandan, kindly subscribe to my channel. Even if you're not a Ugandan, please subscribe to my channel yeah. because this is the environment where you are in, right? That means that you can also do these things when you are in Uganda. You can't study while working. So you have to hear from various people who have tried these things before. Because we all learn, you know, uh, initially by ourselves, but also through other people. So kindly just be following us and please, please, let us just go and first follow you. Yeah, and, and also uh, maybe for those person. who are not in Uganda, mm. they should come and visit Uganda. I mean, Aww. the weather is very interesting. It's been yeah. drizzling a few minutes back and now mm. it is shining. It's shining. Why wouldn't it's you so come beautiful. to Uganda? <laughs> 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 they should. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm so happy that you came. Thank you. Botadika Uganda, CEO. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> CEO of your life and then CEO of Botadika Uganda. Exactly. We have been here at UCU, Uganda Christian University, School of Medicine, Kampala Campus. Thank you so much. Bye.